I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Chill Spot. My name is Taylor Drake and this is Ganchin and Corinne. <laughs> How's everyone today? Hopefully great. I think he had a little bit too co- too much coffee. Too coffee? <laughs> two coffees. <laughs> <laughs> two coffees. Before we get into this, I want to talk about coffee. So, <clears throat> I drink a lot of coffee. Mm-hmm. A lot, some days. So I was reading about it. Anxiety and coffee don't go hand in hand, as Mm-mm. many people probably know. Mm-mm. Well, that's the definition of anxiety, Drake. The definition of coffee... <laughs> Taylor. So, <laughs> coffee. There's a study said if you drink more than two cups of coffee, you are drinking it for the flavor and not the effect. Hmm. Two cups of coffee a day, that's going to give you that energizing effect, but anything more, they say, is pointless. Hmm. So, I'll try to limit my 10 cups down to two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be very positive about it because I love coffee. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I threw that word in there. No, I threw that word in there because we're going to talk about positive Positive thinking, thinking. which is a big thing to me, big thing, because I don't care what mindset you're in. If you put enough focus on positive thinking, you will get into a positive mindset. Simple as that. So what are you going to talk about? Well, in order to have that growth, you do need the right positive mindset. So we threw out there a few ideals for you. So if, say, okay, I'm thinking this way. I can't do this. What would you, what would you say to me? I would, to evaluate the situation, you know, what are you missing? A big one too, why do you feel like you can't do it? What's the barrier? And then make a plan to get over that barrier so you can do it. Okay, I'm just not smart enough. Educate and learn. Another human need that we have is growing our mind. So at times you might feel like that. I'm not educated enough. I'm not smart enough. So utilize the resources out there and educate yourself on whatever the specific thing that you're referring to is. That's true. Okay. I'm just going to give up. That's no, no quitters. No, that's not what you'd say. (laughs) You really though, try a different way. Approach it differently. Uh, A good example of giving up when you have a resident refuse something so many times, some people might get discouraged and say they're going to give up. Approach it differently or bring in resources like, hey, Corinne, this is something that's really got me down. I don't know what to do. So look at it in a different way. How about this is just too hard. I I just can't do it. I think that's another one. Um, Put the effort forth to do it. And if you really feel like you get to a point you can't do it, then I'd pull in the resources and evaluate. Can you, or are you just allowing yourself to get discouraged? And that's why you feel like you can't do it. Because some, not sometimes, a lot of the times our mind, it's our mind that's getting in the way and making us feel this way. Yeah. How about, I just made another mistake. I'm always making mistakes. So, and this is real life for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and learn from it. If you make a mistake... For one, admit to it. You don't need to justify it to anyone because mistakes happen. But then evaluate it and see how you can learn from that mistake moving forward. But the biggest thing in there is people do make mistakes and you don't have to justify why you did what you did. That's true. I I may I I probably say one or two of these things a week and I'm trying not not to say it, Mm -hmm. but sometimes it's hard. You know, it's hard to stay positive every day. So what I've been trying to do is just get up every morning, you know, put that smile on my face and just put my best foot out there. Yeah. You know, so as for positive thinking, uh, a tactic, a practice, a trick, I could say that I learned Mm -hmm. in my very first beginning of this journey, right? Writing, journaling in the evening, positive things though. Some, I journal, in a few different journals and some, you know, it's just like real life. I'm having a bad day and I'm going to write really fast. <laughs> the one that I journal in before I go to bed, mm-hmm. positive thoughts. Because if you go to bed with the positive mindset, you are hiring the chance of waking up in the same mindset. Right. I and it was a that. good practice. I At first, it took me a while to get in the habit of writing positive things before I went to bed. What happened positive today? What impact did I make on someone's life? And, you know, some days, Sunday, Sunday, for example, a Sunday, you just don't do much, you loaf around the house. Mm -hmm. 
I make it a point on those days, make positive comments on people's Facebook. I mean, I know social media is overtaking the world, but let's utilize it. It's there. It can make people feel good that way. But write them down before bed, and then you will, and if you do wake up in the morning feeling kind of off, flip back to that entry you wrote and read it. What you did positive the day before to get your mind in the mindset that you're going to be positive that day. Right. I also try to remember that I'm not the only one that has struggles. Everybody has struggles. Yep. And one of the things that I love to say, and you probably heard me say it, is, you know, everyone has their moment to shine. So just reach out and seize your moment to shine and never let no one, absolutely no one and anyone steal your thunder. For because sure. It, it's, it's yours. It's your thunder. And just positive, the whole idea around positive thinking, some people just look at it like, oh, this is just some foo-foo thing and it's never going to work. I literally wish I was like the poster child on every billboard for it. Anyone that's watching this that worked with the 16-year-old CNA Drake <laughs> to 11 years later, there's been a lot of changes there. Mm -hmm. And it started with the process of this whole positive thinking thing. Train your mind to think positive. Train your mind to find the positive in everything. And some people might be like, gosh, it's too positive. I love it. I mean, when I, but if someone can say right. you're too positive, then I'm succeeding. Right. That's true. I agree with that. So just remember, um, just be happy, be yourself, love yourself. And until you see us again on the chill spot, remember you matter.